No dreams. There was like a little bit of music, but that was it. I don't know. I think we should just keep with me. What? You don't want to see what Greg's up to at all? I mean, I, I want mean, I do, but like, I almost feel more inclined. I wonder if the dialogue she had with Dad about people moving away. Well, like at the same would have time, tied into him. I could just play the entire game a second time around and just ah. skip everything but the story stuff, and then just call you over whenever it's Greg hangout time. The problem is we've done one Greg hangout time. I could which alternate. Means... I I know which one it is. Uh, it was the second one. Uh, well, we'll see. Or is it the third? It was something like that. It's easy. Hello, May. Pickaxe at it. Me. You know the drill. Hey, kid. Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Away oh, message. Come pick your fight. Give arrows flight. You mess with me, you mess with all of us. Going to see the blank tones next week. Okay, science beat. New research indicates that things don't necessarily have to be as bad as they are. Okay. <laughs> Sharkle. Dude, Sharkle is the best. It's kind of an interesting lag time. Um, so Shell kind of pointed this out earlier. Mm -hmm. Uh when we were like hanging out you were like looking at other videos because you're always like oh no we're like losing relevance as far as this goes but like we're competing with jack's septic eye and stuff like that but it's just kind of interesting watching other youtubers cover this game or at least start to cover this game because i think it took him like half a week or more to actually start finally putting up videos for it yeah i think initially okay. it was just a couple other youtubers yeah i think it was like us Commander did they do Holly all the and, voice like, acting and more? stuff no no they like read it out loud Oh, that's I sad. I, I mean, I'd have to watch other people's videos, but like, there's a lot of videos there to get through. <laughs> hey, bird. Things are like really intense right now. Pray to your bird gods for my soul, bird. Hmm. Hmm. Jeez. Feels like it's been years since I got back. And I saw this again. Good morning. There's my little sunshine daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse? Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appoint- Oh, this is- Yeah. This is the mother. Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, jeez, mom. It's fine. It is very much not fine, hun. I'm an adult! I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. May, hun, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, mom. Listen, I keep thinking about the money problems and the house. And I'm just so sorry. You, we wouldn't be in this situation if I wasn't such a massive screw-up. I just want to fall into a pit and die right now. May, it's okay, really. We'll figure something out. This isn't on you to fix. I'm sorry if I made it seem that way. What's done is done, and we're a family together regardless. Please stop worrying about it. Whatever happens, I love you. I need you to know that. You too. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? Nah. Got stuff to do. What is it you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hun. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you, too. C keep I keep the really good prescription headache meds on my nightstand. I can, like, give you half of it. Only half? 
Honey, you're... You know. Short. Half would be fine. It's fine, Mom. Okay, let me know if I can be of any help. Thanks, Mom. She means, like, the really strong stuff. Yeah. The stuff people take to get high. So What? Yeah. Uh. I, I knew one girl who had her wisdom teeth out uh, beginning of summer, and apparently the pain was so bad, according to her, that she spent the entire summer on Percocet or something, like, really strong like that. That's weird. And then had to spend the first couple months of school alternating with rehab because she got addicted. Oh, because what? They were the op opioid variety or something? She was addicted to it, effectively. That's so weird. Yeah. I mean... I wonder what happened to her. I've had, uh... I, I, I suppose you can consider it, like, two surgery. Well, jaw, whatever. Um... So when I was getting braces back in middle school, there was one persistent molar. It didn't want to budge. It was my one baby molar in the entire mouth, and it there was no sign of it going. And there were the the um oh, what do they call them? Orthodontists, right? Orthodontists are for uh, teeth, uh, but not the same as dentists. They're just the ones that like to straighten things out and make things look pretty. In any case, the orthodontists were all like, oh. Well, we can't have you getting your braces unless all of your adult teeth are in because we don't want a new adult tooth to move them all around afterwards. So, uh, I remember going to- oh! Going oh. back the other direction... <laughs> well, I mean, don't you want to talk to Aunt Well, Malcott? we have to, but I'm gonna give you time to finish your oh, thing. Okay, well, in any case, uh, the doctor that eventually would take out my wisdom teeth also had taken out this very persistent baby tooth. And, uh, I just, I just had, you know, what was it, Novocaine? That's yeah. just what they use to numb the area. I didn't go on anything that put you to sleep and whatnot. I actually found the whole process to be rather interesting. And I remember when I went back to him, oh, they had to attach a gold chain to the, to the adult tooth and, like, have it slowly, like, come up over time and tighten it around the braces. It was really interesting. But in any case, he had asked me about taking out my wisdom teeth. And he's like, okay, well, do you want me to put you under or something? I'm like, no, never. I, I don't like the idea of being put they under. They tried giving me laughing gas once and it didn't work. Well, right, right. They offered the laughing gas or putting you under complete. And I'm like, no way. I'm just going to have Novocaine again and be awake for the entire process. And he's like, are you sure about that? I'm like, yeah. I mean, I only have three wisdom teeth, right? And you've done this to me before. Like the whole taking out of a very persistent molar. Hmm. So, yeah, I was awake for all the drilling, all the grinding, all of the tooth cracking and the pulling out and whatever. And I only had to take about, I, I think he had permitted me to take about, what, six Motrin or something. I wasn't prescribed any of the tough stuff. And I was perfectly fine. Things healed up fast and good to go. I, on the other hand, have a ginormous mouth and still have my wisdom teeth. <laughs> Which I should probably go brush. I've had chocolate today. Oh. I I'm surprised you can fit all of them in there. Mm. And you have no crowding. Your teeth are perfect. You never had to have braces or anything. Mm -hmm. You lucky duck. Quack. <laughs> okay. May, get down from those power lines. Huh? Oh, God. What do you want? Hello to you, too, May. Well? I wanted to let you know, we ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. <gasps> that was like more than a week ago. Well, hey, it takes time to get DNA results or whatever. Oh, really? Yeah, thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man. And medium build and he was dead when it was removed. Whoa! That means... It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Okay, yeah, thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me. I get it. 
Be careful, Meg. Strange stuff is going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, Meg. Can you walk by her? Get around her? I didn't do that weird jump. Like, did you notice how she just kind of like popped up into the air without any of the animations? Huh. I didn't do that. Oh, you can just, wait, you can't walk past her? <laughs> it's funny how she just, you're witnessing a crime, Aunt Mall Cop. I kind of wish you could jump on her as well. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, s stand on the hat. Oh, hey, Selmers. Hey, Selmers! Jeez, May, are you sick? Nah, just tired. I got a headache. Why are you out and running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. The stars, the stars, like lights on cars, drive across the dark and never park. It's true, they are like that. I got one ready for longest night. Oh? Longest night, longest night. Night so dark, but stars so bright. Nice. Thanks, I'm feeling festive. So longest night is the uh... It's like a play or something. No, 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 it's like winter solstice or something like that. Mmm. Like, isn't that like, um... Well, so, Halloween's a pretty dark time of the year, but I don't know if it's actually the passing of the season. Well, winter solstice... Isn't winter solstice, like, early January, though? Uh, but it, it clearly isn't January. It's just a couple days after Halloween, so this is this is November. Yeah, I just wanted to look up solstices, because I'm terrible at remembering them. Okay. Um... I wondered if that squirrel had multiple nuts or something. Yeah! That one squ The squirrels are holding two nuts at once! Those are some industrious squirrels now. But squirrels don't even have the pouches that chipmunks do. Do they? Doesn't matter. Squirrel's motivated. <laughs> it's gonna bring as much food back as possible. Hungry. You notice anything, like... weird around here lately? Weird as in... Missing kids. I don't think so. Not recently, at least. That Casey kid last spring. But he weren't kid no more. Maybe someone else from another town? I'm sure I'll remember. You know I asked that, but didn't expect you to know. I read the paper. Forecast is thinking snow soon. When? Soon. Gonna get cold soon. Yeah, okay. so the winter solstice is December 22nd. Mm -hmm. What, you're not gonna talk with Porch Man? Yeah, I was just thinking about it. So, Longest Night has to be a completely made up ho a holiday. Well, B had mentioned Longest Night as like a it's, play it's that the been scouts had gone multiple to. Times. It's, it's probably kind of the like longest hourly night of the year and there's kind of like a festival for it. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like it's a thing for the arts and plays and whatever. Yeah. Getting cold early this year. Don't bode well. Okay, so about the arm. Someone was killed and then the arm was cut off, but the arm had a symbol on it, which may be involved with the miners because the miners each had like a familial symbol. And that guy was middle-aged. So he very well could have been part of the miners cult organization, huh? <laughs> yeah, it could be. I don't know. Do you think Casey's the leader of some evil cult gang? I just wonder if Casey's gonna even be the worked into this at all. The ghost, uh, the the ghost does not have the um, same body type. No, he isn't a cat at all. Oh yeah, his horns are uh, antlers are there. They're just like oh the same color. Okay. Will tunnel fish always be there? Will tunnel drain? Can it now be bare? 
I would miss the tunnel fish. To have them back would be my wish. Are they going to drain the tunnel or something? No, it's poetry, okay? I'm just making stuff up. Please don't listen. <laughs> and we don't need to steal any more pretzels for rat babies. Uh-huh. No more crimes. <laughs> I feel bad. I actually convinced Keith to play this game. Really? At least in part. And? I mean, I think he's enjoying it. I just, I know Keith has like a billion other games. Oh, everyone like has me. a billion games. I know, but like, it's especially bad for uh, Let's Players like Keith and myself. Uh, I'm talking about Sebastian SB if anybody follows his channel. Um. But so. Oh, church! Yeah, we're gonna head for the church next. But, uh. Take me to the church. Like, for us, we pretty much play everything to completion. And so, like, tacking. This is a long game. Yet more. Yeah. Tacking more things. Oh, uh, Bruce is off. probably gonna be gone, isn't he? Mm hmm. I wonder if his little hut's gonna be cleaned up. I just hope that he did have a family to go back to, and that it wasn't just an excuse. Aww. Wonder where Bruce has gone to. Actually, I know. Really? Yeah, he told me not to tell you yesterday. Tell me what, May? Bruce is going home. He what? Yeah, he's going home to his kids. I guess they're all waiting for him. Oh, they're all dead. Oh, yeah. Oh. He seemed pretty happy about it. Okay. Thanks, May. Are you not happy about this? Hmm. Thanks for letting me know. I would not be surprised if his his daughter was already dead. Yeah, his he daughter mentioned and kids. grandkids and stuff. Oh, well, I mean, like his daughter could have kids or something like that. I mean, I, I could be totally wrong on this, but you know, people were people were just speculating that he was going to kill himself, but I I don't know. You know, I never realized this, but she actually kicks up Wait, stuff. Wait, you can you can actually look at that. Okay, I, I want you to just look. Rebello? Shell. Yes, I, I see the dirt. But, like, that is such an interesting detail that I've never noticed, that she's constantly kicking up sticks well, and dirt and stuff It's like only that. here where there's twigs and a lot of trees. Yeah, and it's just a really nice detail, and I need to pay more attention to that. <laughs> we got statues of stern dudes for miles here in Possum Springs. Oh, that was it. Okay. I yeah, know, it's just a neat visual detail, I guess. Mm-hmm. Ah, it's so dry, I'm afraid I'm gonna get a bloody nose. Oh, no. You used yeah, to get those a lot. I know. Well, we've we finally... We're starting to hit, like, you know, winter to spring conversion, and that's when it gets worst. See, you can't resist coming here. That's God calling you. Oh, jeez. I'm betting not. God's patient, hun. Like nature. That is such a creepy statement. I find it comforting. I got this creeping dread thing going on. So just ignore me. Okay, hun. Can I do anything? Not really. Love you. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. Purposely committing the scene to the memory. Oh, this scene to memory. Taking a brain photo? <laughs> yeah, like when I was a kid. Your dad was great with the game to keep you quiet in the car. He sure was. I still do it now. Snap. Got your picture. Snap, snap. Got yours, too. Love you, sweetie. Love you, too, Mom. 
I always wish I could stand on her table as well. <laughs> I'm not even. What? You, you never know. Uh, you never know. It is who yet could to have anywhere. anything in here, but I guess that's how we found the goth teens. Watch the goth teens be hanging out behind the pulpit. And it's like, what? This what are you guys sense. doing in here? I've also been playing too much Shovel Knight, so I was like, I wonder if there's, like, breakable walls behind the pulpit with, like, a secret thing, and I'm like, wait a second, no, <laughs> very raw game. Like the Masonite Orders. I don't remember what church it was in, but it actually did, like, it was one of the churches back when I actually did youth group. It might have been on Nantucket Island, actually. Oh, I'm just thinking of the juice now. Nantucket Nectars. It's, I mean, same, same place. I know. But um, we were we were sleeping in a church overnight because I was still in youth group at the time, and and was this just some weird oh, slumber Violin party? Guy moved. Like what was going on? Uh, no, we we do it as like an outreach thing. Yeah, interestingly enough, violin guy has moved, but his music's still here. Well, maybe we'll find him with the saxophone lady. Yeah, I'm hoping. That would be good. Um. But then they'll be a happy couple. I don't know. It was some kind of like weird like church cooperation thing. But we'd we'd be there. Maybe we'd play some games. We'd go around. Oh right, we'd sing uh, carols for old people. That was the deal. Oh, you actually sang? Sort of. I mean, I was like with twenty other kids, so it was pretty easy to sing. You mean where Defoe sang? Me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd sing along. See, I was always one of the louder people. Yeah. See, I I I don't like standing out with my voice, because, I don't know. Um, you have a nice voice, though. You just haven't I used it. I used to it. be a squeaker, so I've got all sorts of, oh. like, I've got all sorts of traumas. I got oh. bullied for it in all of, all through uh, North Carolina. We Do you have any videos great. of that? I'd like to see them someday. Yeah, probably. Okay. I wonder if people do take family videos anymore. Interesting question. I mean, can we, can we talk with Lori? We take family videos all the time. This is a family video. Well, the, the, <laughs> you guys are watching my home videos. Uh, no, this is just our experiences playing games. This isn't like us tootling around it's the house or anything. You okay? Yeah, I'm like only half here right now. I'm just tired. Are you sick or something? I don't even know anymore. You should get some cold medicine. And some crackers and ginger ale. And lay in bed and watch bad movies. <laughs> I feel like that won't fix this one. One time, I got pneumonia. And I had to go to school anyway. Isn't that contagious or something? I don't know. It's not, by the way. Mm-mm. Hmm. 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 This is weird. May, you okay? Hmm. Oh no, May. Uh, sorry. Spaced out for a sec. You should like see a doctor. I'll get around to it. Thanks. Uh, no problem. Alright, well... I'll probably see you later. Probably? Nothing certain, I guess. Okay. See ya. Everyone's been saying that May looks sick. Unfortunately... And she's acting sick. Yeah. And something's wrong. Is it sleep deprivation or something else? Oh, doggies. Oh, that's where that's where it is. I missed. Okay. I want to go see if the rat babies have gotten even more like ridiculous. You mean if there're just more rats in that building? Yeah. She usually has something new to say every single time. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately since she's a 2D model that hasn't changed, we don't get the same effect, so they have to tell us. But, like, I do actually wish that they had changed the model in some well, way. Well, just put bags under her eyes, and that would probably be enough. Bags. Uh, maybe make her shirt well, there like, are more rats. disheveled. 
My babies have left the nest. Yeah. So they're just yeah, everywhere. Yeah, so there's no reason to come back in here again. We'll probably do it anyway, but... I hope they're not eating plastic now. Well, the flowers. No idea. There's something weird about a cat raising a bunch of rats. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I just find it peculiar that there are animals and then human animals. Like, there's a distinction. Except, I suppose humans are animals, too. Just not yeah, the it'd animal be, it'd be weirder animal. if we had, like, na like, monkeys. Well, it'd be weird if we had little humans that were pets. Oh, that's just creepy. So, children. Okay. Well, uh... Well, let's see what Angus has to yes. say. My legs are still sore from running from that dude. I'm just sore in general. And tired. In general. My life doesn't involve a lot of running. <laughs> I feel like I should have. Some sort of clever comment to cover that, follow that up, that, that up. You can get back to me. <laughs> uh, I'm tired too. That convention was long this weekend, but you had a lot of fun drawing people. I drew a lot of people. Most of them were ugly, because I refused to draw nice-looking people. <laughs> well, you you drew people with the most facial hair. I I like drawing people people with beards because there are so many different types of beards. Yeah, and like so here's the problem, like you have regular people, but they're not interesting to draw because they end up kind of looking template y after a while. You know, kind of the same face same face syndrome. Just because, you know, I just take a quick look. Like, obviously, if somebody sat down in front of me and said, draw oh, a character. Oh, yeah, everyone would be very different. Yeah, like, I could 100% do that. But, like, if I see someone and they're already kind of. They already have, like, a. a I, I think it's interesting that it always, like, zooms in on the edge of the forest and then there's nothing. Yeah, there. I, I keep hoping he's going to be staying there as, like, a super creepy thing. But in broad daylight? Nah. Yeah. But, like, if somebody were to send me a picture and told me to do a caricature of them, I probably could. It's well, just, caricatures are funny. Yeah, but like while we were at the convention, if I looked at a decent looking person, their uh, face is it's so- It's making me dizzy. Their face is so bland that it's actually really hard for me to draw them because it's just like- Well, you were only seeing nice these looking. people for maybe a minute or two no, at most. No, like ha half a second, I just take a glance oh. and then they'd be gone. Because I was sitting in a folding chair lower than you were, further back than you were, That's surrounded by, like, displays and stuff like that. Yeah, so, unless they were, like, specifically standing in front of you, I never got to see them for more than, like, one look. So, I'd find people that looked like thumbs, or, like, had no necks, <laughs> or had... There's one dude who had this big, bushy beard that you could see through. You could see his chin and, and cheeks and everything through it. Well, he must have very fine hair. I, it was, like... Eh? I mean, your hair hasn't really filled in very well on your side. Yeah, sides. it's like if I grew it, like, all the way up. I'm <laughs> fairly certain my hair would still be able to have enough thickness to not be a problem. <laughs> this guy's, <laughs> like, this guy's, like, chin was super thin, and it was just, like, you could see it. I, I could see that he had, like... We should really look at those beard contest uh, photos. We should. Okay, we should let's also ta talk to Germ. Yes. Hey, Germ. Hey, May. Totally, what's up? Other than the obvious... You seem... something, too. Do I look any different? To me, you do. Thanks for your attention. Well, that was... I want to hang out. I want to go see the... Trash Prince or whatever. What was the, uh... Oh, it was Rabies. Rabies, yeah, there we go. Rabies, King of the Sewer, whatever it was. So let's talk with Greg. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey! How are you holding up? I got a splitting headache. I feel like I barely slept. Even though I've slept a lot. Jeez, you okay? I don't know. Can I do anything? Wake me up somehow? Hey! Whoa! Wake up! Okay, yeah, I'm awake now. So, what are you up to today? 
You want? Oh yeah, let's go check out the historical society. Let's give you something uh, to do. No, 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 no. We're gonna go talk to B for a moment. Okay, just saying, hey. Hey. Okay, so we'll come back to him. But yeah, we can do the historical society today. And we'll. Do you know what this is reminding of? Do 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 do. The society. S N I S R. Oh, uh, you know what? We're not done yet. Uh, I, I'm trying to remember what the theme of um, it was like in the Rescuers. The Rescuers had some sort of society that they'd sing about. I only saw the Rescuers Down Under, and I don't remember you any don't of the songs. Uh, okay. I love the Rescuers. Supposedly, they were considered the dark era of Disney, like in the '80s, I suppose. Which also goes along with like the Black Cauldron, and others. Black Cauldron was sad. Yeah, I could never get through it. I don't even remember much of the plot. I tried. I just none of the characters were interesting, save for the like fuzzball, and then the fuzzball. Sorry, spoiler. Dies. Oh hey, they are playing together. Hey. Hey. Hello. You guys gonna play together? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for making this happen, kid. <laughs> wow. Uh. Hmm. Huh. What? I just realized that, like, I did something helpful. Like, I came up with a plan and did something good. Isn't. Is that strange? I feel like I just stumble into things all the time. Introducing you two is like, I meant to help out two strangers. And I did. And now you're gonna play together. And fall in love. What? No. I'm in a long-term monogamous relationship. And I'm not on the market, or in the market. And my son takes up most of my attention. Oh. Did I make it weird? You made it weird. Very weird. Damn it. Deep hollow hollowers. Hollerers. Oh, hey. This wasn't here before. Yeah, found them backstage. Can't believe they're still intact. Must be 60, 70 years old now. The original deep hollow hollowers. Try saying that three times fast. You're gonna try all three? No, you're gonna try all three. Okay. Deep hollow hollowers, deep hollow hollowers, deep hollow hollowers. Hollerers. Oh, hollerers. You screwed up on the first. <laughs> okay, fine. Deep hollow hollerers, deep hollow hollerers, deep, deep hollow Hollerlers, deep hollerlers, deep horror deep hollerlers. Um, deep hollow hollerers. DHH. Who are they? Are they the band that we keep hearing? Uh, oh. Oh. Let's see. Let's the see. The ones we used to listen to. Jeez, kid. How long have you lived here? I'm 20. You look younger. You'll appreciate that later in life. The deep holler horror God damn it. <laughs> the DHH were the premier dance band in the Deep Hollow Country. This was their club. Four of them. Violin, sax, tuba, accordion. It is them. Polkas, waltzes, old tunes from the hills. 20s throughout the 40s. Took this town through some hard times. They're on that famous antho anthology of Appalachian music from the 60s. Yeah, big piece of local history. So... That's the band we've been yeah, listening to. That means Deep Hollow is somewhere in the Appalachians. Like, this is like... This Appa is the Appalachians stretch all the way down into the east, middle... East, but uh, north to south, yeah. I'm betting they're like Virginia, or West Virginia, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. we were just talking about West Virginia. Yep. But, uh... I wonder what... The cat thing was talking about all these people that got caught in the other dimension. Oh. Did they get sucked there, too? Let's see if they're gonna be, like, 
a band that disappeared. That's interesting. You know how there's so many musicians well, that get caught we'll in uh, plane crashes and stuff? Yeah, a big piece of local history. What happened to them? Oh, yeah. Weird story there. It got spooky. Or kind of religious. Spooky? Yeah, they talked about taking trips out of their bodies. And we're playing for the ghosts that have been through here. <gasps> That's exactly like her. Yeah. Huh. Folks thought they were just being weird and poetic, but who knows? They're also getting kind of old. That's weird. In the end, they stopped coming here and started playing out in the woods on these little band box thingies they built. And that's them. Or at least, that's what people figured. In November of 49, they found them dead way out there. <gasps> Died of exposure. <gasps> Frost froze them to their instruments. <gasps> they had to peel them off the ground. One, One of the great... No, oh, that's you. One of the great WTF moments in Possum Springs history. Holy crap. How have you not heard this story? No, it's just... I... Ah, nothing. The world is big and weird. After they were gone, this place's days were numbered. And now, for the first time in God knows how long, the Husker B Ballroom shall hear music again. <laughs> and it's a full house. Pigeons appreciate quality. This makes me happy. Save the happiness for when we're good. Yeah, let's get good. This place could use some good. Well, that's one thing about music. It feels empty space. I've actually been listening to the extended versions of these songs. Mm -hmm. Some of them are kind of spoilery. Luckily, I don't pay attention or care. Astral Valley, I think, is my favorite, which I think is the very first one. Hmm. The one where I decided we shouldn't speak. All the other ones have been good, but not quite as good. Right, so she's been seeing them, and supposedly they had seen this other realm. So it's... So she better not be drawn out into the woods and killed. This is very oxen-free E, in a way. Well, that's it. Shipping out tomorrow. I can't believe you actually landed the new new job. Yep, moving on to better things. Uh, the kids excited? Oh yeah, they'll love it. Might take a while. Heh. Well, yep. Yep. Eh. Eh. Maybe just one more, huh? Yeah, one more. Go smelters! Go smelters! Go smelters! Yep. So this, we gonna... must be getting really close to the end. Um, Everything seems to be wrapping up with people. Yeah, you know the hobo's gone. Um. The two people got united. Yeah, the ant found told something us about, about the, the arm. arm. Um. We resolved the the friendship storyline because we hung out with B. Um, and just like a lot of stuff like that, and I'm wondering. It's too bad we didn't get to see more of Greg and Angus, but would it have only just been Greg? I mean, Greg and Angus are going to be bet moving it away. I would have been both of them occasionally to the city. I don't know. Well, let's stop by the pickaxe and see what's up. <laughs> 